Hi, we're Horse Jumper of Love. We're at uh, In Your Ear Records in Austin, Brighton, Austin, Brighton. And uh, Run For Cover gave us 50 bucks. We go check out the record. We're shopping. This, I felt like this was the one section where I could maybe say something about the records and in the blues section. Um, this is a record by Junior Kimbrough. He was kind of like a, I feel like he was kind of around later than other Delta blues guitarists who were playing a style of blues that's kind of like droney and open tuned. Um, but when his band is electric, it sounds really cool and kind of ahead of its time. I learned about him though because the Black Keys did a cover record of all of his songs that I listened to in middle school. But they had like a recording of his widow on the album talking about how they f she felt they did the songs justice. So it's cool, it's cool. It's like electric Delta blues. This record is just a meme. Yeah. Grover sings the blues. This is four bucks. This is a maybe. These two together is too expensive. So they're very cool though. They're very cool though, but we're gonna get this. Hello? I was looking for suicide. Yeah. But they don't have anything. But I like this band. It's like early, like electronic oh, stuff. And it's like like I think they played in like okay, New York. Me, um, like punk scene. Okay. Uh but like no one liked them because it was all like keyboards. It's like it's like all that kind of stuff. But I think like people used to like boo them off stage and stuff. Oh, birth birthday party. I really like Nick Cave. This is Nick Cave's uh, first band. Um, but no way I'm going to pay all that paper money for this. 60 bucks. It's a good, it's a good record. Check it out. Jesus and Mary Chain. Early demos. That's pretty cool. Never heard their demos. Might be a maybe. The Replacements are my favorite band of all time. This is like later Replacements, like after Paul Westerberg like kicked everyone out of the band basically. And it's like a little more like alternative rock, but then there's like early Replacements, like this one that's like fast and like punk. I think I'll get, I think I'm gonna get this one. Uh, Don't Tell a Soul by The Replacements. I'm looking for this like pop record though. Herb Alpert in the Tijuana Brass, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Ayerto Moreira, dope Brazilian percussionist, like the most famous percussionist in Brazil. Ooh, there's a lot of like banger people here. Louis Belson, one of the most killing white jazz big band drummers. Kind of like Gene Krupa, Buddy Rich. It's like Buddy Rich, Gene Krupa, Louis Belson in terms of like the best white drummers of early 20th century jazz. Art Blakey. In the holy trinity of uh, the greatest jazz drummers of all time with some might say Max Roach and uh, Philly Joe Jones. Band leader led a band, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers for like decades. Straight up though, this record changed my life. They are like the first band I got into that was like a band, I guess, because my sister really liked them. I had this on my iPod mini. I had the silver one, silver iPod mini. I had this record, this album, this MP3 file. And yeah, I was like, wow, I like music. This is cool. Oh, Red House Painters. I love the Red House Painters, but like this guy's such a dick. The lead singer. Yeah. Right? Like, is he is he like an asshole? Oh, dude, what if he sees this? Their cover of I Am A Rock, the Simon and Garfunkel song on this record, love it. Uh, local bands in this section I found Dropkick Murphys, influential local band. And I found a band called Fahrenheit. This dude, Charlie Farron, played in one of Aerosmith's solo projects. I follow him on Facebook and he still makes music and he does like inspirational videos in the morning, be like thankful Thursday and stuff like that. And he's got his sunglasses on. You should follow him on Facebook. Charlie Farron. This band I used to listen to when I was younger called P.O.D. 
stands for Payable on Death, and they're a Christian uh, hardcore band. Um, and then to go along with that, got the Bible soundtrack. It was the most important book that everyone should read. And the never seen the movie, but um, we're looking through some old posters here. I'm gonna see if there's any good ones to look at. Um, I think the title says it all. This is Police Academy 3, though. I've never seen any of those movies, but now I think I have to. I can't reach it. Are you getting on the other side to pull it out? I'm getting this shirt, and hopefully it'll bring me good luck. Maybe we should try it out. This is a Ass Pocket of Whiskey by R.L. Burnside, one of my favorite uh, blues guitarists from the Mississippi Delta. He recorded a lot of classic music, uh, like acoustic recordings back in the 60s. But in uh, June 1996, the month and year of my birth, this punk band uh, recorded this album with him. And they kind of did like breathe the new electric life into his electric band sound. So this is an ass pocket of whiskey. This is what he actually looked like. This dude was a farmer, and he went to prison for shooting the guy who broke into his house. But then he got out, and then he made this record. <laughs> Going Down South is my favorite song. Yeah, we purchased some. Thank you. Yeah, I feel in this shop. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, hi, uh, we spent 45 of the 50 bucks uh, here, so now we're gonna go to Goodwill for the last five. First off, I got in sync. Justin, Chris, Joey, Lance, JC. One time I went to a liquor store and this guy was like, I'll give you five bucks off your total order if you can name every single member of NSYNC. And all I could name was Justin Timberlake. But if I had this CD, you know I would have gotten that discount. Uh, Pete Yarn, I actually have no idea who this is, but one time I was wearing a leather jacket in a grocery store and I thought I looked really cool. Uh, but I think this guy was making fun of me and he was like, are you the rock star Pete Yorn? And then he laughed in my face. Pete Yorn, I don't know who he is. Uh, Gin Blossoms, really good music to drive around to. Um, it's like, you know, classic like 90s bliss music, like whatever, pretty cool. And this is, I think this is the best one. Sebada, Sebada, Sebado, Sebada, Broken. I never like, you know, I've listened to some of this band, but I know it's like, one of the guys from Dinosaur Jr., right? It's like the bass guitar from Dinosaur Jr., I think. So I'm gonna pick this up and check it out. We're in the old but gold section at Goodwill. West Side Story, historic organs of Spain. Look again, it's all meat. Look at that. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I almost went to the bathroom in, in the store when I saw this. In here, I was looking for this in the other record store. They didn't have it. I think someone took it out of there, put it in here. So this is Harp Alpert and the Tijuana Brass, whipped cream and other delights. This was a huge record back in the 60s, like an orchestral jazz pop Latin kind of vibe. My personal favorite, Love Potion Number no. 9, that's a standard. So like, hear recordings of that back in the 60s, bands like The Coasters. The Crystals did that. Peanut, Lollipops and Roses. This is one of my favorite records. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna buy this. Uh, Toby Keith, what's that guy's name, John? You know Spider-Man. Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Yeah. That looks like Toby Maguire. He's a time traveler. Hey, hey cool. Mwah. I, I tip my hat to you. I get it. This cost us $6.34. We went over budget by $1 and 34 cents. Thank you, Run for Covering. <laughs> We're leaving Goodwill. We went a little over budget, but we still gonna take a look, find some musical artifacts to talk about. Let's get out of here. 
Uh, in the, we're uh, back in the car right now, and uh, we're gonna head over to uh, Run For Cover Records. I just wanted to say, sometimes you don't need to go shopping. Like sometimes you can just look in your own car and see what you got. I got the soundtrack to The Sopranos. One of the best shows ever. Pretty, it's like, pre it's pretty violent, but the music's really good. Purple Rain, Patsy Cline, Kate Bush, Pavement, Sonic Youth, Pearl Jam. My mom said that on the day I was born, her friend gave her a Pearl Jam CD and was like, here, like, listen to this. Like, you just had a baby. And then my mom listened to a bunch of Pearl Jam around me. And, you know, that's why I got into rock and roll, probably, because I listened to a lot of Pearl Jam the moment I was born. <laughs> they were just blasting Pearl Jam in there. We love CDs. What can I say? Let's go to the headquarters, bro. Hit the gas. Uh, sometimes you just hear music on the streets. You don't need to go shopping. There's music all around us. The horns. The brass. The brass. Move it, fuckers! Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed our picks. We are Horse Jumper of Love. We'd like to thank Run For Cover for giving us the cash to buy these records. Um, yeah, thanks y'all. And remember, always buckle up. Always remember, Always remember to, to buckle, buckle up. up.